Hello everyone, this is Rashi Razdan from Algoji. If you can hear my voice, just type yes in the chat box so that we can proceed. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we are good to go. Uh, okay. So we are starting the webinar now. Today we are going to talk about free tools for system trading. In the last webinar, uh, in the previous webinar, we talked about what is system trading and what are the components of it and, and how it can benefit us in trading. And today we'll talk about which, uh, which free tools we can use to trade with system. So let's take a take an overview of the previous webinar first. We talked about what is system trading. System trading in a sim, in simpler terms, we can call it rule based trading, where a signal is generated on basis of our rules or strategy, and it is uh, and the system executes our trade on the basis of our uh, rules. And then we talked about components of system-based trading. For uh, the first we had was buy-sell logic, risk management, order and slippage management, and position man management. These four are the major components of system trading. So let's see it with an example. Um, here we have a trade plan example. So do not refer to this as an actual trade plan, plan because this is just an example. I prepared this one for this webinar only. So you can see here in this trade plan, we have everything from what is our trading style, from uh, trade timing, my capital, and uh, trading goals, entry criteria, exit criteria, risk capacity. So I have specified almost everything that I need. Uh, uh, that I need, that I require, and the rules that I want to stick by. So there is risk capacity, order management. For example, uh, if we want to take example of buy or sell logic, in this particular uh, trading plan, what our buy and sell logic is, long condition, when Renko bar closes after, after touch higher round, bound, and trend is green, and short condition when Renko bar closes after it touches low bound trend red. So this is our entry criteria. Similarly, our exit criteria is given. And we'll talk about this uh, strategy in uh, detail and how to apply it on the chart in coming slides. So this was uh, this was what system trading. Uh, this was a uh, this was our trade plan. Now. Let's see what, how we can prepare our trade plan and what does it mean? Like, why do we need a trade plan? First of all, system, systematic method of trading securities, uh, systematic method of trading stocks. Uh, we have well-researched set of rules. You can see here, if we have a set of rules here, we wrote these rules only after a good amount of research we researched we back tested our strategy and only then we have come up with this trade plan it suits us so uh, we wrote all the conditions in a document and compiled them and this is what our trade plan is third is you calculate your risk why do you need a trade plan because it makes you, uh, it, it, it can minimize your risk. By, you you will calculate your risk. Uh, for example, you can see here, we have written here our risk capacity. Maximum risk per trade, we have uh, specified here rupees 2000. Like we don't want to take more than 2000 rupees at risk in a trade. And how many trades do we want to take in a day? 10. And how many positions? we want to manage at a time we, we can manage at a time we have specified that as well so this is how we can manage our risk we have specified conditions here then 
it provides framework to evaluate trade performance now let's move further in the trade plan you can see we have uh, we have a tab here execution plan execution of plan so here we have written how to execute our plan and then in the end we have evaluate your actions so we have this whole trading plan we have this whole framework by which we'll uh, compare our results we'll compare our profits or losses or uh, whatever rules you have we'll uh, and we need this trade plan by this we'll stick to the rules even in volatile market situation or in a range bound market or any given situation our risk will be calculated will be able to reduce the emotional influence during trading and again we'll have a framework to evaluate our trading performance in the end now this was our trade plan we now we should know that what how we can you how we can apply the trade plan in live trading and how we can use free features how we can use free features to uh, justify the trade plan so trade trading view trading view is the only platform that provides us live charts for free so this is one of the great features of trading view now we want to know about the free tools for system trading then trading view is one of the uh, best platform where you will get live chart for free then it gives us worldwide market data coverage there are uh, 1 lakh plus indicators you can see here on this chart we have we clicked here on indicators and strategies and there are so many strategies so many indicators and all are available for free then we have 50 plus smart drawing tools see here we have smart drawing tools for anything you can even uh, draw uh, there are uh, harmonic patterns already given here elliot wave anything anything you want here are they here they are available here then there are customizable chart types you can use line chart bar any chart whatever is suitable for your strategy there is versatile screener so by versatile screener you can see in the screener you can add n number of stocks in which you want to trade trade and you can filter them out with any of the parameters you can choose here you want to see income statement of any stock of the stock you can click here and you will uh, they will automatically get filtered out so this the screener is of great use it is very versatile then we have fine script alerts candlestick patterns recognition uh, about the fine script alerts we'll talk about it uh in further slide in detail in fact i'll show you how to apply a pine script to the chart so then we have financial data global economic data and everything is available for free in trading view so this is one of the best tools available in the market for free uh, if you want to use free tools for system trading then let's move ahead and see free strategies in trading view now what what strategies are available for free in trading view so you will be happy to know that almost all the strategies are free in trading view even there is this public library where there are community community members uh, traders like you or analysts who upload their strategies upload their uh, research and everything you can use them as well some of them may be logged but you can ask for access and if they agree they will provide you the access so but all of these are available for free and built ins are built in especially all the strategies are available for free so this you can use them uh, use these strategies for free then we have free indicators in trading view similarly 
Similarly, we have all the indicators available for free in TradingView. In public library, there could be indicators made by community people, and most of them are free. Some of them can be product protected, but you can again ask for ask them for access. Now let's move ahead, and we'll talk about our one other tool for. Uh, free uh, for system trading. So we'll talk about now free features of API Bridge. Now uh, let's log in into API Bridge first. I'm logging into API Bridge first, and we'll talk about how it is different from any conventional trading platform. And it is not your trading platform. Uh, uh, if I specify here, it is not a trading platform. Uh, it is your algo terminal. It is not your trading terminal. So this is API Bridge. And to, to understand this uh, software, let's see how to integrate it with TradingView first. So to integrate it with TradingView, first we'll open API Bridge. You can download API Bridge from here. This is the website, Zebul API Bridge. You can download and sign up from here and then you will um, get the software and uh, when you have signed up and logged in then you'll click on this help button here when you click on the help button it opens up a window uh, I'll open this particular window in my Chrome. Yes, so this, this window will appear when, whenever you will click on help button. Then you'll click on jump start. And then you'll click on second, uh, second option available here, jump start system trading with trading view. Since we want to integrate API Bridge with TradingView because both of them are great tools for uh, uh, which are available for which can be used for free for system trading. So we are here integrating both of them. You can see this article here. Here steps are mentioned to integrate uh, TradingView with API Bridge. So we are following the steps. Step one, we have already done. Now we'll go on step two. We'll click here and this window will appear. We'll click on the recent uh, latest, uh, uh, late, latest version and this pop-up will appear and we'll click on add extension. Now, what we'll do here is we'll open our chart. You can see that earlier these four buttons were not available, but now we have these four buttons. I would I would still refresh the chart. If this if these buttons don't appear, you can refresh your chart when you uh, try this out. And you will know when, when these four buttons will appear, you will know that the integration has been successful. You can also see here in API Bridge, you can see in log, handshake re request from TradingView, handshake response sent. You, uh, these logs will appear whenever we try to integrate both the platforms. And now we'll click on Start Trading. You'll have to click on start trading to actually uh, uh, for, for uh, to allow API Bridge to work on those signals, which we are going to create now. Uh, let me take some questions till then. Little slow. Oh, okay. If you have any questions so far. You can let me know. I will proceed only then. 
I will explain step by step how to integrate how to integrate both the platforms and how you can uh, how you can trade using these two platforms. Yes, recorded version will be available later as well. Okay. Now I'm proceeding. So we have now successfully integrated. We have now successfully integrated both the platforms. What we'll do now is we'll put a Pine Pine script here. Now, what is Pine script? Pine script is a coding language developed by TradingView, uh, using which you can customize your strategy or your rules. Whatever your trading rules are, you can uh, customize your indicators or strategies. So let's see. We had clicked here this my coder website. We we'll look for our strategy here, the Renko strategy that we have mentioned in uh, trade trade plan. Here you can see in this article everything is mentioned. Uh, about the strategy and you can see in the step one download the pine script algo here so here uh, uh, our code is given you can click here and a code will appear i have already copied this code in notepad so i'll be copying it and how now please pay attention here and see how I'm going to apply this on the chart and how later I will automate the strategy so that our uh, trade will be executed on its own. Here on the chart, I'll, uh, you will see here this fine editor tab. And this is the default tab given here, uh, the default, uh, default code given here. I will remove this first. And I will paste what I had copied from the notepad, the uh, code that, that was given in the article. I will click on the save button. I have saved this code. I'm saving this code, save. Now I'll click on add to chart. You can see that I have applied this strategy. I customized my uh, strategy and I have applied this on the chart. So now we'll talk about what the strategy is. So you see this start, the name of the strategy is Renko candlesticks. So uh, you cannot uh, apply Renko candlesticks in free version of trading view, but using this strategy, you can use Renko candlesticks on normal, on, uh, the usual candlestick pattern, the uh, usual candlesticks. So this here, the up, this is the upper bound and this is the lower bound. This here, this gap here represents the brick size, brick size of a Renko candle. We can reduce it and we can enlarge it. We can uh, as per our requirement. So you can see, I clicked on this settings button here. All the inputs are given. All the inputs are given. First, we'll specify the brick size from the from input. Here, uh, this brick size is 0 0.45. The gap you are seeing here, it, it is 0 0.45. The value is 0 0.45. So uh, if I have to show you uh, how the trades will generate uh, on their own using the strategy, I'm going to uh, I'm going to change this input so that I can show you how, how it will work. But you can customize it according to your requirement. I am putting this value only because I want to generate quicker trades. And it, it is just for the demo. So I'm changing the value here. I've changed it to 0 0.005. From 0 
four five and then you can i'm going further and here intraday trade session we'll specify during which uh, we'll uh, specify trade session during which we want buy or sell signals to generate hamari uh, our entry our entry signals will generate only during this time from 9:15 to 2:50 and our session uh, exit session we'll have to specify the timing here as well exit session during which all open position will be squared off so you have to make sure that that this input is greater than this one so here it is already put up perfectly and then we have to specify trade quantity so i it is by default it is give, given here one and i will let it be and i'll click on okay so the only thing i change here is this brick size input and i'll click on okay now you can see how many trades have been generated in the past in this uh, particular strategy if you refer to this article you will move further and it will give you it will give you this particular input using which you can set alert for auto trading now what we'll do is we now we have put up the strategy and now we will or we'll put automatic alerts through which our trades will be automatically executed so to create the alert we'll go here we'll click on this and click on add alert on renko candlesticks everything is fine yes okay now this default message is given here we'll remove it and we'll put our message and we'll click on create if you will see here see what happened what just happened our alert got created and it immediately triggered a trade and as api bridge received the signal it executed that trade you can see here signal received from trading view and order placed so this is how it uh, this is how it happened uh, now uh, we'll see more trades in coming minute, uh, coming uh, slides in uh, the trades will keep on generating you can keep a watch here uh, or we'll get a notification here now let's talk about now we'll go back to our slide and see what are the free features of api bridge now we have seen the whole setup how we have in integrated api bridge with the trading view we'll talk about the features api bridge is offering for free so the first feature is lelx uh, sesx button instead of plain buy sell button now you would have noticed here that we have these four buttons here unlike any conventional uh, trading platform why do we have these four buttons here because it creates clarity in signals le means long entry lx means long exit sx means short exit se means short entry so uh, using these buttons if you click on long entry it will automatically order your place uh, very fast and you can use these buttons instead of buy or sell buttons uh, instead of the conventional buy or sell buttons for example if i click le here it won't work because we already have a strategy now the second feature that api bridge offers us is risk management features let's look at what risk management features uh, api bridge offers to us this is our symbol settings and we'll click on these risk management here you can see um, 
you can this uh, you can decide max order per minute max trades per day max symbol position uh, here we have this daily max loss what is this risk management setting here you can specify how much risk you want to bear in a day how much how much risk you can bear in a day for example you don't want to take risk uh, more than 20000 risk on a day in a day you don't want more than 20000 to be at risk in a day so what you will do is you will specify your amount here 20000 so if any sudden movement comes in the market and it is against your position what api bridge will do is it will square off all the position automatically when this limit is reached and it won't take any uh, signals after that so uh, through this you can uh, you can manage your risk and you can cap your risk uh, you can uh, cap your loss basically when when there there could be some sudden movement and sometimes you can end up in big losses within um, within minutes and you might not be able to exit during that time so in that uh, in that scenario this particular risk management setting is of great help then we have this order management features here let's see what are the order management features available okay so first of all what we have to do is if we want our um, if we want our trades to trigger correctly sorry to get placed correctly and integration to work properly we'll have to put this particular sim, uh, symbol here if there is itc here you'll have to put exactly the same input here otherwise api bridge will not receive any signal you will have to use the same symbol same symbol as there it is in your chart for api bridge to receive signals correctly then you can specify other settings here these are the symbol settings we have this instrument name equity and now we'll talk about what are the order management settings uh, given by api bridge you can select entry order type whichever entry order type you want to choose limit market sll slm you can also choose exit order type limit market sll or uh, the quantity the quantity that you want to choose here we have uh, fixed quantity quantity from exposure quantity from sl so how we can use these if you have a fixed quantity to trade in you can specify it here if you want to quant uh, trade with quantity from exposure by this you can select for example you you uh, you have already specified that you don't uh, in this particular trade you don't want to take more than 5000 uh, at you don't want to put five more than 5000 at risk so you will specify that amount here you'll put one in the round lot size and you can uh, and your quantity will get automatically selected uh, sorry your quantity will get automatically calculated by api bridge according to your exposure or you can similarly use quantity from sl but here we have already specified one but this is how you can use it then we can also choose product type normal mis cnc co bo so these are the product types available you can choose any of these this is how you can use uh, you can manage your order now uh, here is our last point for three features of api bridge your personal secretary and this is very interesting because now i'm going to tell you about how you can use three features or paper in pa how you can use paper trading mode and you can still trade in the live market 
you can use all the free features and you can still trade trade live and with your rules so uh, this this one point is of great specified your entry order type your exit order type and everything in which in, in which and how you want to trade so what you can do is you can go to the application settings and go to this notification feature you can go to this notification feature and you can click on play notification sound when order is sent so whenever an order is sent you uh, you will get a uh, it will uh, api there will play a sound so you will know that an order has taken place so at that particular time what you can do is you can uh, quickly go and go, go to your trading terminal and you can wait you can go to your trading terminal and you can place an order there uh, i think the site is not uploading here yeah or what you can also do is you can also set up no uh, email notification so even if you are not in front of your system and you want to you still want to trade what you can do is you can set up these Uh, email notifications so whenever an order takes place you will receive an email and you can uh, prior uh, you can put that uh, email uh, those th those emails on priority in your G uh, in your gmail or any uh, 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 on gmail and uh, you will receive an email regarding uh, the order and all the parameters that have that you have indicated here that you have indicated here and you will know that in which trade uh, in which particular in which stock you have to take the trade or and what kind of order you have to take uh, how much quantity and uh, you can similarly exit the trade when you receive an exit signal as well so uh, you can you can trade even when you are not in uh, front of the system and you can still be able, you will still be able to trade as per your strategy as per your rules so this you you can use free api bridge paper trading mode and still trade trade in the live market by working on notifications and it will still help you in it will still help you in sticking to to your rules to your strategy okay uh i'm taking some questions here uh so if if you have any questions so far just let me know I I hope my voice is clear. Okay. So let's see what are the more features offered by API Bridge to us. <clears throat> signal source. You can select from where you can get these signals. We we can also we also have this feature of webhook but 
trading uh, for for trading view the webhook doesn't work for free version of trading view so we we won't be using it uh, you see here we got a notification we got a notification here and our order got automatically placed then we have the signal settings now what are the signal rules this, this this is one of this is very important sig but signal rules do for you is that they avoid strategy misfire sometimes what you do is uh, you sometimes play place trades mistakenly uh, you place uh, you you sometimes you can sometimes place more than two trades or more than one trade with similar value by mistake so in that particular case api bridge api bridge will not take those signals you can tick on this first link avoid consecutive order placement with same values and it will not take more than one signal with the same values similarly we have the signal rule for le ls uh, lx scsx button and there are more rules available here you, you can uh, you can click on this max loss squares uh, current position so when when the uh, when your limit is reached of the maximum loss you can wear it will automatically square off all the positions so you can use all these signal rules to your advantage then we have the symbol settings you can choose what symbols you want to see on your main page so for example i don't want to see um i don't want to see this max profit so i will untick this and save it from here and we have already talked about notification how we can use notification and trade live in the market so this was with Uh, this was the free features of api bridge and now the next slide is about pine script coding in trading view we just used the whole we we just used pine script for trade uh, in trading view for uh, pine script coding so not all people can uh, not all people can make codes or write codes and pine what is pine script basically pine script is a scripting language designed by trading view and it is for creating custom indicators and strategy and of, uh, it, it is it is understandable that not everyone can write these codes so what you can do is you can go to my coder help manual just like we used this article and we got a code from here we can similarly find other strategies available all that are already available and you use, use those codes and we can still customize them and we can use those to to set auto alerts and trade and now we'll talk about the important aspects that how how you can make this whole setup to create this whole setup the first and the most important point is that you will need to sign up and download api bridge which you can do from here then the second point we have is sign up for trading sign up for trading view Uh, which i think most of the traders or most of the people might have already done so you can sign up with trading view and use trading view to your trading advantage because it has it it offers you great features and for free and you can use free version of api bridge for paper trading you can see all these features that are available here in 
paper uh, paper trading mode for uh, for free then the third point is third on 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 third point what you have to do is you have to connect trading view with api bridge now i'm going to show you again how you can do it you'll click on this help manual you'll you'll uh, sign up with the api bridge uh, login then you'll click on this help manual this window will appear you'll click on jump start you'll click on jump start trading with trading view and you'll click on here, click here and you'll at the same time you have to open this trading view as well and you'll click on add extension and refresh your chart then when when you will see these four buttons on your chart you will know that extension has been added and you can also see these logs here these logs will tell you that the integration has been successful then what we have to do is we have to download a pine script then again i show uh, i'll show you how you can download your pine script you can go back in this my coder site you'll click on trading you can click on trading view connection and you'll find here uh, a lot of pine script codes and strategies so for our strategy i use this renko strategy and i use i downloaded the code from here i clicked here and this i copied this code then i put this code in pine editor it is already in, uh, uh, pasted here but when you will do it for the first time there will be a default code you'll remove it you will paste your code here you will save it you will add it to the chart you will customize it from the settings here whatever uh, whatever uh, atr or whatever input is suitable to you you can use it you can customize it then you will click on okay then you will put an alert and again from the same article you can see this this message here you will copy it and you will paste it in place of this default message and you will click on create and it will uh, it will create create your auto alerts it will create your auto alerts so now whenever the requirements will be met trading view will give a signal api bridge will receive it and if the integration was successful only then and you have you also have to make sure that the signal symbol that you have used here you have to put the same symbol here <laughs> only then the trade will take place if the symbol are not matching the uh, trading view will not place order so we talked about downloading pine script we talked about applying tv settings i just told you how to do that then api bridge settings we just talked about it in detail from here you can manage your order settings from here you can manage your risk settings then you can click Uh, you can go uh, you can customize more settings by clicking on application settings and from here i we just talked about it so there is signal source signal settings symbol settings notifications if you if you are, if you want to trade when you are not in front of your system you can uh, use email notifications and if you want to trade live you can use play notification uh, you can choose this uh, you can take on this particular uh, particular tab here play notification sound when order is sent so you will know whenever an order is sent so you can place a similar trades on the trading terminal and the seventh is manual execution exactly when you receive the signal you will place your order in in the trading terminal manually so this was the whole setup how 
the the steps that you have to follow to trade with system using free features and you can still trade in trade in live market using all the free features now let's move towards end of the session and uh, we'll talk about benefits of using free api first of all the first major important point discipline you will be able to maintain your discipline you have this whole trading plan here you have created this trade plan as per your requirement as per your research so you know you have these rules you have worked on, on these rules you have researched for them so when you will place these these you you when you will place these rules on your system and follow them it will automatically make you more disciplined and you will maintain that discipline even during uh, adverse situation for example when there is uh, there is a sudden movement uh, there is spike or sudden fall so or there is no movement for days so you will stick to your discipline because you have rules then we have trade diary this is one of the very important point now what is trade diary in trade diary you maintain in in a trade diary you generally write or maintain all the trades you have taken but api bridge does it for you you don't have to do it manually api bridge will do it for you but how you can use it you you see these logs here every sig signal received every order placed it is shown here in the logs you can you can click on this show full log you can click here and you can see all these logs wait you can see all these logs here so at the end of the day you can match it with your manual trading that which orders you have taken if you have gone as per the signals how many trades you have missed you can match them so api bridge does it for you then we have evaluation exactly using trade diary using the logs you can match your manual trades with the system generated trades and you can match and you can evaluate where you missed the trades where did you deviate how much was the deviation how much money did you make how much money did you lose and how what what kind of changes can you make to your system so this is one of the features of free api bridge then there is this point learn how to trade system for someone who has been doing manual trading for years it is obviously difficult to switch to trade system so using paper trading mode what you can do is you can slowly gradually you can switch to trade trading system and you will get used to it and when you are comfortable with trading system you can then shift to the live market you can and till the time you are not comfortable till the time you are not confident about it you can trade trade uh, uh, in paper trading mode and still you can take those benefits and trade with the rules in live market then easy to switch to algo yes exactly using the free api bridge using the free features using paper trading mode it will be easy for you to switch to market uh, so, uh, to uh, switch to algo trading for someone who has been trading manually it is quite difficult to trade to algo for for retail traders so by using the free features by using the paper trading mode you can learn to set up strategies you can work on those strategies you can set up rules and in the end you can use the signals and the system generated trades and 
you use the signals to trade in the live market and when and as you are comfortable and confident about it you can switch to live trading directly so these were so when these were the benefits of using free api bridge i hope this uh, this webinar was informative and the, this is our uh, series of webinar the first one was what and why of system trading and today we talked about free tools for system trading now i'll be taking some questions you can uh, see these topics here and you will know what we'll be talking about in the coming webinars we have covered the first two topics now these next topics are yet to be discussed uh when you will sign up for api bridge uh, for uh, api bridge you will get get credentials you'll have to sign up for paper trading mode and then you will get your own credentials and you can download api bridge and then uh, see use this website to down, uh, to sign up and download the bridge what would be the success rate so uh, it will depend on your strategy and how you use your strategy it will ultimately depend on that it is similar sim similarly in manual trading as well uh, it it always depends on the strategy but the advantage you get here is there uh, there are risk management settings the order settings and uh, you can use all uh, free features live market and uh, you can uh, get faster you can avoid latency you can avoid slippage the money that you lose in delay in order pla placing orders or you can avoid uh, uh, you can avoid getting influenced by your emotions all these factors also make you lose money in the market so system trading helps you avoid that you can uh, for selection of stocks you can either use this stock uh, stock screener or whichever pl platform you are using so uh, more over selection of stocks will be uh, on you only i think we are good to wrap up now this was all with three tools for system trading and uh, we'll be seeing you in the coming weeks and we'll talk about tool compare to we'll be comparing tools different tools for algo trading and you will know which one to go for after we have compared all of them happy trading and see you see you in the coming weeks thank you very much Zebu is a 10 year old trusted financial services company in India member of NSE BSE MCX MESI ICEX and CDSL the excellent technology oriented and hassle free trading platform will helps you to execute stressless trades 
or artificial intelligence tools and statistical metrics will help to grow wealthy. Our webinars and seminars will provide excellent knowledge source about financial literacy. Our algo tool will help to save times as 200 times faster than normal trade execution. It's just 10 milliseconds. Join with us. Have a wealthy life. Happy trading.